Welcome to Android Dialogues, where we have bite-sized conversations with people from the Android community. I'm Chuki Chen, and today we are chatting with Rebecca Franks. Hi, Rebecca. Hey. Where are you based, and what do you do? I'm based in Johannesburg, South Africa, and I'm an Android developer for a digital media company. So we specialize in、uh, streaming of live sports and catch-up content, like movies and series and stuff like that. Great. And、uh, Rebe- Rebecca actually is also an Android GDE. I'm、yep. the first one in Johannesburg, so、yep. very excited to have you here. And by here, I mean Mountain View. We are here for Google I/O, so very exciting. <laughs> And Rebecca, how did you get started on Android? So I got started in Varsity.、Um, my sister actually said to me, "You know, you can make an app for your phone that you have." And I was like, "Whoa, okay, <laughs> that sounds cool." So at that point, do you already program for other systems? Yeah. So I was busy studying、um, at university. I think I was in my Last or third year. Okay. And、um, so you have some programming experience,、yeah. but not for phones. Yeah. Cool. So then just started out re- writing a basic Hello World app.、Mm-hmm. As and, you do. Yeah. As, yeah. as you do. <laughs> <laughs> and then、um, yeah, just made a little Scrabble app, and I think. The and then did you get an Android development job right after school?、Um, no, I actually started out just doing、uh, Java. Websites、okay. and web services and stuff like that,、mm. and then I went more into the Android side. Cool. I found that's where it's, it's the good、Android. side. It's、yeah. fun. The good side. Yeah. <laughs> well, in fact, Android is so much fun that Rebecca actually does it on his, her、uh, own time as well. You have this side project called Book Dash. Yeah. Can you tell us more about it?、Uh, so Book Dash is a, an open source app that you can get from、mm-hmm. GitHub, and、mm-hmm. anyone can contribute. So right. Yeah, you're welcome to.、Um, yeah, you're open source. <laughs> And what it is is、uh, basically we, there's a, a non-profit organisation in Johannes, well in South Africa called Book Dash,、mm-hmm. and、um, they do these what they call Book Dash days, where they have volunteers come in, so designers, writers, and illustrators, they come in and for one single day they create these uniquely free to distribute books, and these books are. Like made within a day, and、mm-hmm. they're kids' books, and they translate it into different African languages.、Mm. So, so the idea is to build up a repository of content that anyone can distribute, and so、yeah. that people have things to read, essentially. Yeah. So yeah. the aim is to improve the the education. Nice.、Yeah. So、uh, it's quite a, a cool initiative. I'm、mm. quite passionate about that. So yeah.、Uh, and so you worked on the Android version. And is、yeah. there also like a paper version for people to read just you know、yeah. before so, sleeping? And, yeah. <laughs> so you can、uh, you can buy the books online as、mm-hmm. well,、um, and then the proceeds of the s- the sales of the books、mm-hmm. will go to、uh, printing the books for un- underprivileged children.、Mm-hmm. So they also distribute. They run、uh, a thunder fund.、Uh, I don't know.、Mm-hmm. They run things that you can donate to it, and then they print out whole runs of books. Oh. So in bulk, and then they can yeah, distribute it. Yeah, and then they distribute it, it to、yeah. a lot of people. So,、um, I, I mean, they didn't have an app before, so I decided to write one for them. Cool.、Um, and we should be having a, an iOS version soon. But you're not working on it, right? No, no, okay. no. <laughs> well, I mean, not the problem. I mean, it's not like we don't like people who also work、yeah. on iOS, but you know, you only have so much time. Yeah, no. Cool. It's a whole other ball game. Let's go ahead and take a look at the app. Just to、okay. uh, have curious how you do that. So you you get a whole bunch of、uh, books that you can download.、Mm-hmm. Um, you can also change to a different language.、So、oh, let got... me see. I speak no, I don't speak Sichuan.、Um, <laughs> I, I don't think I speak any of these languages here. We'll stick with English. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So and then there's a, a cup. There's about fifty or so books at the moment.、Mm, they're so cute. <laughs> yeah, the illustrations are really nice. Yeah.、And、the nice part about them is that they're like uniquely sort of African. Mm. So you don't get、so、a lot of yeah. yeah. So there's also a lot of history in them and、That's、teaching、nice. kids about、um, yeah. certain people that are actually inspirational to. That's lovely because、yeah. I grew up in Hong Kong and, well, <laughs> we have Chinese books. So books is not a problem. But I grew up playing with dolls that are、yeah. blonde and blue <laughs> eyes and. I、yeah. for the longest time didn't realize that real babies look like that <laughs> because real babies don't like like that in Hong Kong. So I think it's very important for children to、yeah. be able to see things that are like them. Yeah. So yeah, then you can just download the books、uh-huh. and then you can start reading. Oh, so、yeah. this is this one single image? Like how does that work? Um, so it's it's two images that、mm-hmm. are um 
like stitched together. And the the words are also just embedded in the image. Yeah. Okay. So I initially tried it without uh, embedding it, but right. then yeah, there were lots of layout issues, and that mm -hmm. also then you can't get the nice fonts and the nice colors. Oh, so okay. Um, initially, it's it's just images for now. Since like it's all images, would it take a long time to download? Do you download everything before you let them read so that they don't yeah. have to wait until... Because <laughs> if the punchline is in the next image and it's not loaded yet, it's yeah. kind of... Yeah, not, so when you fun. download it, you download uh, all the images and then I display them all. So now at least you can read it later as well. So you can be oh, offline and read them. Very nice. Which is cool. Yeah. So the the way like the images work well, when you download them, like if you're using a tablet versus a phone, are they yeah. different? Um, so at the moment they they're all the same sizes. Okay. So so probably... you don't like tell the server that hey I only need a small image please. No. Okay. Yeah. And so, speaking of the server, like how do you store this? Um, so at the moment it's using Pass, unfortunately. Going down. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, we're looking at switching to Firebase. So mm. we got started on uh, just getting the backend set up and migrating the data um, from Pass to, to Firebase. How are they different, like Pass and Firebase? I haven't really used either, so... Yeah, um, so the big difference that I've found is that uh, the way in which the data is stored on Firebase. Mm -hmm. So I haven't gone too deep into uh, that layer yet, but the way in which you can query and all of that, is, it's quite a different mindset that you have to have. Mm. So. Um, and there's no like easy way to just enter data. We pass had that whole um, like a more friendly interface. Yeah. So we, we're building um, your own. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's a couple of other people working with me at least for this. So for the server side. Yeah. So um, he's taking care of that. So you can then at least upload easily onto there. So hopefully, when we have Firebase, then mm -hmm. you'll also have. Um, easier offline support as well. Right. So do you saw the images in Firebase or, or uh, Parse as well, or that's separate? Uh, so we're actually going to be storing them in uh, Google Cloud Storage. OK. And then it's just, just like all through Google and <laughs> move away from Parse and then yeah. Google Cloud. Well, you, you'll get a lot of uh, information from I.O., I think, because when yeah. I was looking at the schedule, there's quite a bit of Firebase and yeah, Google no. Cloud going on. So it's OK. You don't have to stay with all the Android sessions if you want to. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'll how Firebase a few, works. A few Firebase yeah. ones. So actually, speaking of Firebase, like, do they have an Android SDK? Like, do you just pull that in and then use yeah. that? Okay. So it's I've I've just touched it briefly, right. so I wouldn't call myself well versed in right. it. Well, but I know nothing, <laughs> and you know more than nothing. <laughs> Little bit. So that's great. Uh, yeah. yeah. So you just pull the the SDK into it, and then you can just query, mm -hmm. and you'll get normal Java objects out. I think the best part is the ability for it to like sync quite quickly between uh, oh. server and um So if you have a new client. book, then the client would know it kind of uh, uh, the, There's no notifications yet. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so I think we'll, we'll do that. But at least if you're in the app, it'll automatically refresh and get the new, new books. Nice. So yeah. it'll handle all of that for you. That's great. And is there a search functionality if I'm looking for a particular book? Uh, not yet, but that's a good feature request. Open source. Open source. Open you source. You know what open source means. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I'm just asking because I expect that if you're using Parse as a backend versus using Firebase as a backend, the search functionality will be quite different. Yeah. I mean, at this scale with 50 books, you could just download the whole catalog and do the search locally. Yeah. But we think big, right? I mean, this will have thousands and tens of thousands of books at some point. So yeah. hopefully Firebase will be able to handle that kind of load. Yeah, I'm sure it will. Yeah. Great. Um, is there anything you want to tell us about the project that I didn't cover? Like any really, really particular hard problem that you get into, <laughs> or like any particular design that you thought, oh, you know, for example, is this a recycler view? Uh -huh. um, yeah, <laughs> this is a, obviously just a recycler view. I had well, not obvious. You could use grid <laughs> view. I mean, there yeah. are other things you could be using. <laughs> <laughs> I had a couple of uh, difficulties trying to size them correctly. So now oh. at least it auto, auto sizes them. So, I mean, it's um, not it's not a very complicated app. Mm -hmm. It's just a you can view all your downloads and oh that's nice and then you can delete them if you're running out of space yeah so, so very simple but takes up all my time <laughs> oh but i really i'm really glad that you're doing it because well you're using your skill in a way that help other people so yeah that's wonderful <laughs> great and rebecca if people want to find out more about your projects and what you do where can they find you on the internet uh, so you can go check out my blog, um, mm -hmm. rigaroo.co.za. 
uh, R I the link as well, but spell it R I G G A um, R O O dot C O dot Z A, and then also on Twitter at Riguru. Great! Thank you so much for talking with us. Cool. Have a good time at I O. Thank you. Bye. Bye.